Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how to make easy Eritrean Ramadan cookies. These cookies are so delicious. They're so flaky and buttery and you should definitely give them a try. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, The Easy Life. This channel will give you lots of laughs and you'll learn many things while watching our videos. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and also don't forget to comment down below anything you guys want to see next. So without further ado, let's get started. For this recipe, you're going to need three cups of all-purpose flour. You're also going to need about a third of a cup of sugar. Depending on what you like, you can add more or less. These shouldn't be too sweet because they're eaten with very sweet tea. Next, I have a couple pinches of salt. Maybe like a teaspoon. And here I have some vanilla powder. This definitely changes the flavor. Without the vanilla powder, the cookies just taste sweet. So make sure you add this vanilla powder. It's like vanilla extract in a powder form and it tastes really good. So the next thing we're gonna be using is some oil. You can use any kind of oil, canola oil, sunflower oil, vegetable oil. So here I use about, about maybe half a cup, maybe a little more than half a cup. So here I have some water. It doesn't need to be warm. It can be any temperature water. So I'm just going to knead the dough and only, wad adder, only add water slowly. That's the trick. These cookies are supposed to be super duper hard when you're kneading it. It should be very crumbly and it will be a little hard to knead, but that's the trick. If you make it too squishy and soggy, you'll end up with a very soggy cookie and you want to get the crunchiest cookie ever. So keep kneading and only add a little bit of water. So as you can see, I only add a couple of drops of water at a time and I keep kneading, trying to get the moisture out of it, scraping down the sides and just squishing everything together. Together, <laughs> Just keep squishing. Don't add water. Only add water if you still have a lot of flour on the bottom. So as you can see, you can see how hard the dough is. It's very, very hard. It might look soft because I um, fastened the video. So here, I just oiled my surface and I'm taking a rolling pin and I'm rolling everything out. And as you can see, there is like little layers and pockets in this dough. So what that will, what will do is that when it's frying, it's gonna make the cookie have layers. So when you break in between, there's multiple layers of buttery flaky dough in the center, which is so delicious. And the tradition is to have one line with squares and the other line with triangles. And you can have any kind of size cookies you want. You can make them huge if you want. You can make them small if you want. But the Eritrean tradition is to have them larger in different shapes. You can have diamonds, triangles, and squares. So here I have some canola oil. Canola oil is the best oil for cooking with. It's unflavored and it's just the best. And the great thing about these cookies is that they do not absorb oil. So when you take them out, it'll be dry and you don't need to worry about having oil all over your hands and everywhere, you know? So I just turn my oil on a medium high heat and I'm frying up these bad boys and they actually cook pretty quick and something I've had to learn throughout the process is to keep the oil on medium high heat. If you turn it too high, the minute you put in the cookies, the outside will be dark and the inside will still be doughy. So make sure the oil is on medium high, even a little lower if possible. So you will need to flip these and just check on the sides. If the side is getting golden brown, that means the whole thing is ready. So at this point, it's time to take out the cookies. They look so crispy, so tasty, and I promise you, they do not absorb oil. So when you open in the center, it's always gonna be nice and crispy. It's not gonna be oily and overwhelming. It's amazing. So I'm just pulling out these guys, and I'm just gonna cook another batch, and I'll be back. Okay, everybody, so these are how the cookies turned out. They look so tasty, and they actually taste better than they look. And they're so amazing, they're so easy to make. You can make them anytime. This is a great treat for, like, to pair up with tea, with coffee, anything you like. So I actually like to dust them with a little bit of powdered sugar because it makes them 10 times better. I like to serve these with dates for Ramadan, and they're so amazing, they're the best. Like, everyone in the party will ask you how you made them so easy so convenient so tasty so make sure you give them a try and with that being said we've actually come to the end of the video unfortunately please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll try to keep posting more videos sorry i haven't posted in a while i've just been really busy with a lot of other things so thank you guys for watching bye